everyone, I'm about to go on stage but I'm making a quick video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you all the behind the scenes of getting ready for my show, putting everything into the car, coming here, oh, makeup first, going up on stage and a few comments from the audience and all of this is because of my amazing patrons over on Patreon. We've, this is to celebrate the goal of reaching 35 patrons so thank you so much to all of you who have become part of my Patreon page. It's absolutely amazing that you support me in this way. You keep my music coming and things like this can carry on to be a part of my career but also everything I produce online can carry on being a, a significant part of my music career. So a huge thank you to all of you and I hope you enjoy seeing all the behind the scenes today. And I just wanted to introduce my sister Megan. Okay, there's Megan. Hello. And she's going to be um, doing all the behind the scenes today. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> just busy driving and look how beautiful Cape Town is. I think we live in the most beautiful place. Who else can drive to their gig and have views like this? And we're in the city. <laughs> well, we're at least on the way to the center of the city. and plenty of equipment all laid on top of each other. Can I give you the keys? And then let's just start with the half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello! You can help with some of the other things. Thank okay, you very much. Cool. Yeah. I'm Brian Easton. You're in the Thomas Easton pub, named after my great-grandfather. A British-style pub with 40 whiskeys and some excellent craft ales. And we're excited to be here. Good. I'm very it's excited to have you. Hi, I'm Ian Douglas and I'm here to play Small Pipes tonight um, for Christine and goes and uh, does her performance. Yay, it's going to be fun. And Christine and busy setting up. Yep. My name's Ted Faulkner. I'm very glad to be here because I've heard Christy Lynn at the Vineyard and I've heard her at the Neisner Celtic uh, Festival and she's a highly talented musician, great singer. Hey guys, so I'm just standing outside while Ian Douglas is playing the bagpipes, well technically the small pipes, very beautifully and we're fully booked so the venue is packed, the tension is mounting, not really, the anticipation is mounting and I'm really looking forward to performing! Yay! Tiny, tiny bathroom. And it was kind of embarrassing because we had to walk past everybody and they were all wondering who I was going to talk to and then I went to the bathroom. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we're just checking the makeup and the hair, getting ourselves ready. Christy Lynn left it for us once again. Yes, she is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to give you any introduction. You know I'm sure. Thank you. Quite in tune. 
So Iravata means, oh my boatman. Snahoruela means nothing. And <laughs> the last little bit, my best wishes be with you wherever you may be. So should we give it a try? Yes. And if you, if in doubt, just say la 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 because that's the English version. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. Iravata Snahoruela Iravata Snahoruela Iravata Snahoruela And now sh- Mohuri Slayan Skaha Chinchechu that was amazing. Give yourselves a clap. What was that? <laughs> oh, it was a lovely evening. Christy was uh, fantastic as usual. And I uh, really enjoyed the, oh, yes, the really atmosphere and <laughs> the great place tonight. So thanks for having us. It was awesome. It was an amazing evening. Started off by the bagpipes with Ian. And um, after that, we had two sessions of Christy Lynn giving us an amazing array of Scottish, Irish, rails and tunes. Thank you so much, Brian. I really, I, it was such a wonderful evening. I feel like the, the venue was so perfect for the vibe tonight. It's, it was nice. It was a good vibe tonight. It's a shame we can't get you in before. Or well, like next weekend, actually. How, how did you feel tonight? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think the audience was amazing. It was so great to have a full house. Um, and people were so attentive, even though it was the kind of venue where um, there could have been a lot of chatting in the background. I felt like when I performed, people really listened. Really, really and listened. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a wonderful experience as a musician. So one of the comments from um, someone I was chatting to said that even if people had never heard any Celtic music before that when you have someone explaining why they've chosen the songs and what they like about it or a little bit of the story behind it I think it provides a special meaning to each song when you sang when I should meet my maker if I should meet my maker it felt like people didn't even want to be breathing because it would be too noisy <laughs> it was so quiet in the room oh, oh, that's even so cool. the like kitchen staff were quiet really <laughs> it was amazing oh that's really special because that was my experience when i heard maddie campbell perform it herself that's that's how i felt at that time like yeah, i barely it, wanted to breathe it definitely <laughs> came across yeah it was oh, really that's powerful. So great. yeah and um when you were singing the um mouth, mouth music mm. one of the guys who does um celtic dancing or scottish dance or whatever was dancing with his hands on the table really yeah, oh that's my so goodness! Cool. I wish I had seen that. Do you know the little boy? He was inside in his mom's arms, and then she went outside to talk to her husband, and the baby started crying. So she brought him back inside, and he kept quiet again. Oh, that is so. When cool. does that ever happen in a pub? Yeah. <laughs> and the music wasn't soft. I mean, it was no. quite. Yeah, yeah and she no, was right by the speaker. Usually, babies have very sensitive hearing. Mm. So. Oh, that's awesome. There was a group of ladies who um, they um, saw the event on Facebook and decided to come because a year ago they were all together in Scotland on a holiday. Really? So they came kind of as a reunion. Oh, that's so special. So now my plan is drive home, collapse. Okay, probably have to unpack things first, unfortunately. Yes. Unpack some of the equipment. While we put on the kettle. While we put on the kettle. Have a cup of tea, extremely important. While we're lying on the couch eating your leftover pizza. Oh my goodness, leftover pizza, Which I'm yes. going to share with you. <laughs> and then we are going to, I will just collapse there for a little while and I have to just try and get my mind to stop buzzing. And the way I do that is by watching a few YouTube videos. So I have a date with YouTube and my couch. And your kittens. And my kittens. Hopefully I'll have a kitten on my lap while I'm watching YouTube and drinking tea. That sounds a good way to end the evening, don't you think? <laughs> great way so maybe this is also a good way to end the video thank you so much everyone for watching and i hope it was interesting to get a little bit of a perspective of what it's like to be a performing musician um there's quite a lot that goes into it behind the scenes and i must say i'm quite exhausted now but i absolutely love it it's so special to be sharing music with people 
live and getting to connect with audiences like this and seeing how music really changes people and speaks quite deeply into their hearts. I think it's such a privilege and I hope to carry on doing it for a very long time. <laughs> so having said that, check out Patreon, subscribe to my channel, comment down below if you were interested in any part of this video or you have any questions about performing as a, as a live musician and um, I'll see you again next week Thursday. Thanks so much guys. Bye. It's weird that you can't make eye contact. <laughs>